Hello students. Yesterday we had studied exercise 5.1. We had done the concept of arithmetic progression and we had learnt that arithmetic progression consecutive terms will have increment by a very fixed number like common difference will be there. Let's have a round of introduction again. Just we are going to do one example. Let's suppose we have this series 2, 4, 6, 8. Right? Look at the series carefully. Here first term is 2. Yesterday we had studied. And second thing, each and every term they are differing by value 2. 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 so what we are having we had studied yesterday finding common difference we can find 4 minus 2 that means common difference is 2 so till this concept we had studied yesterday in our lecture now today we are going to study in detail exercise 5.2 arithmetic progression chapter of class 10th NCRT book that how to find nth term of an AP. For this, first of all, we are going to learn one formula. Have a look on this formula. This is very easy formula. A n equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. This is the main formula which will be used in this exercise. Now let us learn what is A n. A n is nth term of an AP. Okay, this A we have studied already. A is first term and D, D is common difference. And last word is left n. n is nth term, or we can say number of terms. Let us see now how this formula will be used. Look at the question on the screen. Find the tenth term of AP. AP given is 2, 7, 12. See, first term is. 2 and what is common difference here we can check 7 minus 2 or 12 minus 7 it is 5 so two values we are already having and we are told to find 10th term of AP 10th term means value of n we are given as 10 so formula we have just done a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d put n is equal to 10 in this formula we get a 10 a 10 means 10th term what is a a is 2 value of n is 10 value of d is 5 so we just need to solve it 10 minus 1 is 9 9 into 5 45 so what do we get 10th term value is 47 so it is very easy to find 10th term using this formula now let's start doing few questions of the exercise where we will get more clarification how to use this formula let's suppose this question number fourth is there in the book you can check ncrt book where one ap is given what is the ap let's suppose this is given 3 8 13 18 dot 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 this is the ap given and question is which term of this ap is 78 i'm writing here which term is 78 so just think about formula is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d we have done and we need to find which term is 78 let's see how we will we are going to solve it let nth term is 
78 nth term 78 means we have supposed that is value of a n we have supposed 78 which term means we need to find value of n so same formula we are going to use in this question formula is a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d so i hope you remember the formula now we need to learn it and it's very easy formula value of a n is 78 value of a c first term is 3 n we need to find and what is d d is common difference that means 8 minus 3 when we will do we will get value 5 so uh, students we need to check these steps very carefully because sometimes students do calculation mistakes here what are those steps see this 3 first it should be transposed to left side i'm starting here 78 minus 3 this 3 is transposed to left side and right side same value n minus 1 into 5 is there 78 minus 3 75 now this 5 will be shifted here cross multiplying step and now when we will divide it what will we get 5 ones are 5 25 is left 5 fives are 25 so we have 15 on left side this minus 1 value will be transposed to left side we get plus 1 so see value of n comes out to be 16 so uh, this is the final answer but in board exam when you are going to attempt it last line you should write like i'm writing here therefore 16th term of given AP is 78 C this is must be the last line which should be written while attempting this question in exam let's move to next question question number five find the number of terms first part is 7 13 19 till 205 see this kind of question is also important first part we are going to do in this lecture second part as in homework you try at home see here first term is 7 right common difference 13 minus 7 I am going to do from a to minus a1 13 minus 7 we will get 6 common difference is 6 here last term is given see a n is given as 205 so first term is given common difference we have found nth term is also given 205 so just use formula a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d and we need to find n so it's very easy now 205 a is 7 common difference is 6 see same steps practice is there 205 first this 7 should be transposed to left side and 205 minus 7 when we will do we get 198 then cross multiplication step 6 coming down and when we divide it 6 3s are 18 again 6 3s are 18 so last step will be n is equal to 34 answer we will get from this part I hope this method is clear to all of you. So first part of question number 5 we are done. Second part try at home. Sixth question. Let's move to next question. Check whether minus 150 is a term of AP. What is AP given? AP is 11, 8, 5, 2, dot, dot, dot. And what we need to check i am writing here above one was the ap given we need to check minus 150 is term of ap or not so students what we need to find 
in this AP whether minus 150 will come or not. <coughs> so, this is thing what we need to check. In this AP see descending order is there. When descending order AP is there that means value of D is going to be negative. Let us see value of A is 11, value of D is A2 minus A1 mean 8 minus 11. So, common difference comes out to be minus 3. What we need to check whether minus 150 is the term of AP or not. So, what we are going to suppose let nth term is minus 150. We will suppose it that yes this minus 150 is coming in this AP and let it is nth term that means what we have supposed a n is equal to minus 150. Using same formula I am writing this formula again and again so that you will remember it now try to recall these formulas again and again nth term is minus 150 a is the first term n minus 1 because value of n we need to find d common difference is minus 3 students usually do mistake here we need to put bracket minus 3 should be written in bracket because it is the product with n minus 1 so make sure we are following this step then this 11 comes to left side and let us see what special is there in this question a little bit different kind of calculation is going to be there minus 50 and minus 11 we get minus 161 and this minus 3 first I am writing here and in next step if I do the cross multiplication this minus and minus obviously this is going to be cancelled right so what next step will be there check here 161 over 3 this minus 1 will be transposed to left side will become plus right 3 LCM 3 into 1 3 then 3 will be added to 161 we will get 164 see there is a problem now 160 by 4 by 3 answer is coming in fraction whereas value of n can be a natural number only so what we can do now we are not getting any natural number we will write next step since n is not a natural number therefore minus 150 is not the term of given AP so our final answer is no because we were to check whether minus 150 comes in this AP or not so since we are not getting exact value of n we are getting value of n in fraction so therefore that means minus 150 will not be the part of this AP look at next question question number 7 find 31st term of an AP whose 11th term is 38 and 16th term is 73 let us see how these kind of questions we should do first of all let us see we need to find 31st term of an AP I am going to write actually what I need to find in this question I need to find 31st term 31st term means a31 do remember a31 we are to find and what are the given values 11th term is 38 see 11th term that means a11 is given as 38 16th term is 73 I am writing here 16th term it is given as 73 see what we are going to do now we are going to again use the same formula a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d this formula will be used in all the questions of this exercise a 11 I am directly writing it as a plus 10 d 
I will let you know how it comes. A sixteen can be written as a plus fifteen d. Just doing one for you. Put n is equal to eleven here. <coughs> See, it's very easy. So what we will do in exams, we will directly learn. Whenever a eleven is written, it can be written as a plus ten d. A sixteen can be written as a plus fifteen d. It's very easy to learn. And yes, uh, in brackets we will write using this formula a n is equal to a plus n minus one d. So two equations we are given. You remember pair of linear equation in two variable chapter we have done chapter third. So these are the two equations we have got. We need to solve these two equations. with any method suitable to you substitution method can be used elimination method can be used we need to find value of a and d a a can be cancelled very easily so what we are going to do here subtracting equation 1 from second first equation we are going to subtract so from second means a plus 15d equal to 73 second term will be written first and then first term which we need to subtract from this since we are subtracting so all the signs will be changed a and a will be cancelled 15 minus 10 is 5 73 minus 38 13 minus 8 is 5 then 6 minus 3 is 35 finally value of d comes out to be Seven. I hope everybody is clear. D comes out to be seven. Now we need to find a. Put d equal to seven in equation number first. This equation. Value of a we need to find. Ten value of t is seven. What should be done next? Ten into seven seventy. So when seventy goes to right side, thirty-eight minus seventy. What do we get? We get minus thirty-two. So value of d is seven. Value of a is minus thirty-two. So two answers we are having. What actually we wanted to find? We wanted to find value of a thirty-one. So see same formula we are going to use. we wanted to find a 31 right a 31 can be written as a plus 30d using this formula same concept we have covered here value of a is minus 32 what is the value of d it is 7 that means minus 32 7 3 is our Twenty-one, so we get minus thirty-two plus two hundred ten. After subtraction, what will we get? One hundred seventy-eight. So this is the answer. Thirty-first term of an AP with these conditions will be having value one seventy-eight. So uh, these questions are very easy. Today we have covered few questions. related to formula an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d these questions i hope you are clear with try doing next two three questions at home and few related examples also if you have any problem you can uh, give in comment section or you can mail also our on our mail id nandkishor classes at the rate gmail.com or even our facebook page is also there you can give comment there itself so we will solve the problems and tomorrow we will continue the same exercise we will complete till 20 all the questions but as of now you should try few questions at home thank you so much